Hello everyone, this is Nitesh Kumar and welcome to the Nitesh Labs. This is the third part of the video series. In this, we are going to discuss about the design and development of Bluetooth low energy modules. We'll be designing a 2.4 GHz RF based Bluetooth low energy radio module. You can reach me for any of your queries through my mail ID or by commenting it at the comment section. My mail ID is niteshkumar027 at the rate of gmail.com. The first step towards designing is the selection of BLE mesh based enable chips. There are plenty of manufacturers available in the market which makes chip which are having the capability of BLE mesh. Some of them are Cypress Semiconductor, Qualcomm, Silicon Labs, Texas Instruments, ST Microelectronics, Nordic Semiconductor, Telling Semiconductors. Go through each one of them and study in details. After the comparison, you will be in a position to decide which is best for you. Take good amount of time before deciding this as after selection, you will be spending a great amount of time for developing the module and on its firmware. Now let us look at the sites of the companies who offer BLE mesh enable chips. You can fast forward or skip this section. Now this is the site of Cypress Semiconductor. They are one among the companies who make BLE mesh enable chip. When you open the site, you see almost every information here like getting started with Bluetooth mesh, mesh evaluation kit and other relevant informations. You can go through each one of them according to your convenience. Now this is the site of the Qualcomm. They are another company which makes BLE mesh enable chips. The chip part number start with CSR102X. Here on the software part you can find the SDK and other software related informations. Silicon Labs are the another vendors who manufactures BLE mesh based SOCs. They have presented the whole information in a pretty neat way. As soon as you clip the Bluetooth selection guide, you will be taken to a page where every information is presented very neatly. With hardware, software, security, development, support and community. This is what you need when you are developing the module. Nordic is a very giant player in Bluetooth based SOCs. The company manufactures only Bluetooth based chips. Their site is well organized and designed and each and every piece of information can be accessed here without much difficulty. These are the various development boards manufactured by Nordic for their development and testing purposes. These are the various chips with their part numbers. Texas Instrument is a very well known brand. They also manufacture BLE mesh based chips. They have variety of online tools for simulating their ICs, design and performance. The web page is very well designed and each and every piece of information can be accessed here without much difficulty. These are the ICs with the part number from the Texas Instrument which is having the functionality of BLE mesh. ST Microelectronics is another brand which manufactures BLE mesh based SOCs. ST Microelectronics manufactures a lot of other chips as well. The site is also quite well designed and information can be accessed here without much difficulty. 
Telink is another brand similar to Nordic but is less popular than Nordic. This company also manufactures only Bluetooth related chips. Their site is well designed and organized and every piece of information can be accessed without much difficulty. After the selection of chip, the next task is to decide what kind of antenna you want to put. Antenna design is another field of RF. Designing a PCB antenna is a daunting task, although there are some sample design available for 2.4 GHz PCB antenna, but, but the sample design only tells about the dimension and impedance path. There are a lot of other factors which are to be considered when designing a PCB antenna. To eliminate this problem, there is another best way to use a chip antenna or to use an external antenna through a SMA connector. Now let us quickly jump into the designing part. For my designing, I have selected the chip offered by Nordic and this is the complete BOM of the design. Once you have finalized your BOM, the next step is to create the footprints of the components into your CAD library. Once you are ready with the footprints, you can start drawing the schematic in any of your favorite design tools. This is the schematic of BLE 5.0 2.4 GHz radio module. It basically contains six parts. The main BLE 5.0 chip which is placed at the center of the schematic crystal oscillator which is placed just above the chip this is the crystal oscillator third is the band pass filter which is uh, which is placed next to uh, next to the crystal oscillator fourth is the impedance matching circuit this is the impedance matching circuit this complete set which is placed next to the band pass filter fifth is the chip antenna which is connected and placed next to the impedance matching circuit and the last is the terminating connectors. These are the terminating characters which are used to bring the connect bring the connection out. The part number of the components can be seen from the BOM page. Once you are done with the schematic, the next step is to move towards PCB layout design. When designing the PCB layout, the first step is to mark the outer dimension of the board. As you can see, I have marked it already. The length of my board is 40.9 mm and the width of the board is 18.8 mm. This boundary is required so that you can arrange your component within that particular boundary. The next step is to arrange your component in a desired way as you can see I have arranged my components this you can do it in your own way also since this is a RF board special care is to be taken for RF track and crystal oscillator crystal oscillator is the most disturbing element in the RF design so special care has to be taken you need to place the crystal oscillator in such a way and position so that it is, it is not at all close to the RF track and any sensitive signal track. Here crystal oscillator is marked as Y2. When dealing with RF track, make proper calculation for maintaining the 50 ohm impedance and avoid any kind of sharp bends in the tracks. Once you are done with this, 
you can start routing after routing the board looks something like this this is the top layer the top layer with the solder mask this is the top layer with the top paste mask now let us see the only bottom layer so this is a complete bottom layer you can see the bottom copper now i'll try and zoom a bit the only bottom copper bottom layer with bottom seal screen bottom layer with bottom documentation as there are no components so you cannot see any documentation over there and this is a combined top and bottom layer Now when we convert this board into a 3D design it looks something like this This was a short video on BLE module hardware design In the next video I'll cover the following topics separately First firmware development for BLE module Second Android app development to control the BLE mesh best luminaries Thank you. If you have any queries, please mail me to Nitesh Kumar zero two seven at the rate of gmail dot com or comment it in a comment section. Thank you.